Hi, uh, this is Benjamin, founder of Farmagain. Farmagain's flagship product is Groton, as you know, and this product has been selected as one of the top 100 innovations of India for year 2023. And with this happy news, let's get into the subject. So today I wanted to talk about the uh, least spoken about uh, uh, subject or feature of uh, Grotron, which is uh, traceability, which is already built into our uh, platform. Uh, it is available for all the farmers to use, but least known and least used uh, feature. So I would like to really talk a little more about uh, that feature uh, in this video. So we have this traceability module in our app, Grotron app, from actually from the day one. So what it does is, um, a farmer can basically say, I want to disclose a uh, certain type of information. Say for example, uh, he may be interested in uh, disclosing his uh, uh, personal details sometimes. Sometimes some farmers may not be interested in disclosing personal de details such as the photograph, phone number, um, uh, the actual physical address, uh, so on and so forth. Some farmers may say, no, I am fine to disclose uh, anything about my farm. So depending on his preferences. Uh, this traceability app is going to generate a QR code and today um, QR code can be accessed by almost everybody because every phone, uh, the camera app itself uh, has the ability to read the QR code. So what will happen is uh, the farmer can take this QR code, uh, affix that on his uh, maybe crate or uh, you know the product that he sells or he can share it with his uh, middleman if he's selling it to a middleman. Uh, and uh, this QR code can be scanned by an end consumer and it is going to show the, the practice that was followed in the farm, um, the kind of fertilizers used, how much was used, was it grown organically, uh, was it an inorganic crop. Uh, so it is going to disclose the location of the farm, the actual uh, zone within the farm from where the harvest was uh, done. Um, so this will really establish an excellent trust uh, for a consumer on the farmer uh, because the, the whole history of the crop is uh, totally disclosed uh, to an end consumer. And we have seen this practically work uh, for farmers who actually use this module. And to be very honest, there are very few farmers who uh, actually use this module, but whoever uses uh, have been seeing a great benefit because it, it really helps in establishing a tremendous amount of trust between them and the dealers or uh, the end consumers. So as I said, uh, it is already there in, in our app and if you scan this QR code, you are going to see the entire history about this particular uh, harvest. So you can record the harvest, you can take a QR code and uh, uh, disclose your farm uh, practice details to anybody. Now having said that, uh, what we are now uh, doing is in the process of uh, taking this over to blockchain uh, technology. So how is that going to help? Very simple, I mean in a traditional technology, so we have built currently the traceability using traditional technology. So in a traditional technology, hypothetically speaking, the database can be modified by somebody. Uh, let's say, um, or, I mean someone who gains access uh, to the database by some means uh, may be able to go and change the practice from let's say inorganic to organic. Um, the uh, actual practices can be manipulated by someone, although it is very hypothetical, not really going to happen, uh, but still blockchain will make it a lot more safer. So right now we are in the process of integrating uh, blockchain into our traceability. So with that what will happen is that everything that is done in a farm goes by means of certain transactions. Say for example, I bring in a seed. So I have a batch number of uh, the seed that I buy. So that is uh, and I have an invoice or a bill uh, to prove that there is a, uh, you know, a certain brand, certain variety, certain batch number of uh, certain seed was bought. So that is fed into the system and uh, once it comes in and someone approves it. So, so let's say uh, the, the person who sold uh, um, the seed raises a bill and that comes and sits on our system and once it is accepted that is the end of it. Uh, no modification is possible after that. Uh, and then the seed is planted and let's say you, you buy a, a fertilizer and uh, you have some records uh, proving that you have bought, a, uh, bought certain fertilizers and that goes into the into our system that is verified and approved by someone and uh, it, co it makes an exchange uh, of uh, block. And again you do something else in the farm 
So the next block in the chain is created. So uh, different blocks uh, in the chain are created for each transaction in the same sequence. And once the transaction is complete, there is no way uh, one can go back and modify that. And not only that, you know, traditional uh, software development, um, someone has an access to the database. I know um, the database is here, this is the IP address of the database and uh, one can hack and figure out uh, what the password is and really get, uh, get uh, into the database and gain uh, complete access, uh, theoretically speaking. But in blockchain technology, no one knows where the data is really. Um, so you create a block and put it on uh, on the chain and uh, that is the end of it and uh, no one has actual access to the data because no one knows where it is and that's how the, the whole uh, technology has been built. Therefore, once we complete uh, blockchain integration on our traceability, it is going to be one of its kind and uh, um, uh, absolutely trustworthy. Uh, that QR code can be trusted 200%. Therefore, we believe uh, with that kind of a technology launch, uh, our farmers will have even better ability, I mean as it is with uh, the traceability we have, they have a great ability in taking the, uh, their produce to the market. But with blockchain, I think that ability is going to only uh, improve uh, multifold uh, and it is going to be a great uh, help to the farmers uh, who use Groton. So uh, I wish all our farmers start using this feature called uh, traceability. It is not, not only going to help you establish uh, trustworthiness with your uh, end consumers and uh, middlemen, but also it is going to give you a historical data. So you can say in 2021, this was a harvest I had and I changed some practice. And 2022, my harvest changed like this. I had an increase or decline or whatever. And then I do some more changes to my practice and 2023 my harvest was like this. So you have historical data to study and maybe do some course correction for the future. So therefore it is going to help you in two fronts. One uh, to establish a trust, two to have a historical data. Therefore I really encourage all our farmers to start using this. And if you think a uh, few of our farmers don't know and you know them, please do forward this to them so that it becomes useful to them as well. And uh, shortly, we will again meet with another useful information. Until then, you are Ben. Thank you.